Hey, hi guys, this is Gail here from Internet Business for Newbies or GailBottomlyOnline.com where I can show you lots of things that will help you get your internet business up and running really rapidly. And I'll show you some great tools that will help you along the way. Today on this uh, video, I just want to talk to you about RSS feeds and how to get one. And uh, basically, well, maybe not so much on how to get one today. I'll show that in another video. But uh, in this one, what you do with it after you have an RSS feed and an amazing piece of software that certainly is not going to cost you much, that will do the work for you. So RSS means really simple syndication. Um, it sounds interesting, doesn't it? <laughs> really simple syndication. But what's uh, been the real trip up for most people is understanding what it does and why you need it. Now, I'm not going to go into tell you why, what it does, or anything really about that. You can Google that. All I'm going to tell you is that everything you do online has or can have an RSS feed, and there are hundreds of directories out there that you can submit your RSS directory to. And so um, if you want to know any more about it, go and find out. But I suggest you do it. I suggest you use RSS. It will help with your rankings. It will, it will help you get on page one of Google. It will help people find you, and people like to read um, about your website and what you have to offer and so uh, an RSS feed is a very cool way to get out there and to get noticed apart from all the other ways and things that you do as well. Now the really simple way to get a feed is to use FeedBurner which is part of Google so you need a Gmail account and as I say in another video I'll show you how to use FeedBurner and how to get a feed. Uh, so today I'm not really going to spend too much time on that because I need a short video. But I'm going to show you a piece of software that I use that makes RSS feeds and getting it out to the directories very, very simple. I'll also put on my blog post a list where you can do it manually for those of you who want to do it manually. So here's what happens. You can go to... Um, you can go and get an account at FeedBurner, so it's feedburner.google.com, and then what you do is you pop your details in, um, you'll see it as you go through, but I'll do another video on to give you more details. Anyway, as you go through the process, eventually you get to the screen here where you get your feed. And usually it's like this, it's feeds.feedburner.com forward slash and the name of the, pro, uh, the, name of the site, Fast SEO Plugin. Alright, so that's where you want to get to. So we come over here, and um, that's the next step by the way, so when you press up here and you get edit feeds, you'll come here, oh sorry, we'll go, just a wee minute while I get this right for you. There it is there. You click on that particular button that I clicked on and you come to this page here. Feeds.feedburner.com fast SEO plugin. All right. So you grab that feed and what you need to do is when you have a, a WordPress site, you need to be using the plugin called Feedburner, um, configure, the Feedburner configuration. All right. You can go search that. I'll put that in another video. Then you add your feed in here. You'll notice that the whole feed is in here that I'm just taking. Alright, so now you have a feed on your website. You put it in there and you save it. Now what we're going to do is, um, now that we have a feed with our website, and if we put this in, people will come to our website from our feed. Alright, so we'll just go here. Now here's our feed here. If you want to know, as I say, more about it, then go to Google and search on it. But what I'm more interested in today is to show you how to get this feed out into the world. Now on here, in this piece of software, which I'll show you where to get it from in a minute, there's a list of the very good feed burn, uh, feed sites, all right, the RSS sites. And you'll see this one has a page rank of four, and this one four, this one six. So these are really good sites to send out to. Some of these sites have capture codes. And um, some of them, only about three, I think, on here, you actually have to log in. So this is what you do when you first get the software. You download it, you install it. It's software, not a plugin. There's a great manual with it. Not that you'll need it because it's pretty darn simple. But here we go. We come to the login required. We click on that. And over here, you'll see there's a sign up. Click on that, and you'll be taken to the sign up page. So sign up, get your username and password, and save it. 
okay now it's all in the manual so it's pretty simple to do then once you've got all that uh, sorted you're about ready to go really so here we go now so we've got account profiles you need to set up your account you need to set up your company so each um, and then we've got the feeds now here I've already got some feeds done here and uh, when you want to add a new feed you go add new simple as that really you can also do the pinging from here and you can create a feed from here although I find it much quicker and easier to do it from within feed burner so now once I have my new feed all I've got to do is come in here and go add new and then you pop the URL in here there it is all there you give it a name which I've done here fast SEO plugin I've also put in all the keywords because I've already set it up and the description so put about four or five long tail keywords in here give it a description go save and then once it's saved it sits in here like so and then when you click on it you'll see here there's the description and there's the keyword now um, what you do now is you start to send it out and submit it out there to all the directories and that's simple go in here and press submit now if you think there's a bit of an error in here you want to change something well then you can easy go in and fix it up so now we've got that all sitting there all we do is submit and because I've got uh, three different profiles in here I'm not sure why or how I did that but uh, you can click on the profile that you want which is a good idea which means that you can set up lots of different profiles so you can be doing this as a business for other people you can be taking their website their feeds and sending them out to the directories for them so it's a cool idea so uh, what we can do is go on to the default one and what that will do is start sending it out so we just press the start button and um, then we just sends it out and here comes the capture codes now as I said to you you can either do them manually or you can get hold of D capture di capture and you'll set that up and it'll do all the work for you so um, you can please yourself what you do with that so I'll just just get them out of the road at the moment 9162 I'll just put that in and then you go OK and then they'll just keep going around until you put them all in <clears throat> just ignore them at the moment oh dear I just want to get rid of them and you will get some errors there's no doubt about that because some of these places they come and they go but and on the whole you'll find that most of it will go through just perfectly for you so you do need to do the catches though if you want them to go through but I'm just going to stop it right now and um, just hold on a minute let it go through as you'll see that uh, there is a bit of red stuff here and some of it's because I didn't put the capture code in but you'll sort that out now the software is often uh, they're always updating and giving new directories in here so don't be too worried about these so once it's finished you can close it you can come back over here now you can get a submission report and if there's some that haven't gone through for whatever reason you can try again all right now the other thing you can do of course as I said is you can ping it I won't ping it again because I've already just done that but you can go back to one of your other ones that you've um, that you sent out a while ago maybe a, whatever and you can start pinging them out because you can ping a site out maybe up to twice a week so um, just keep that in mind that you can do the pinging from here as well and it'll just carry on and do its thing it's in a great piece of software and it will save you a huge amount of time but if you want to do it manually then we can uh, we can give you uh, a link I mean a list of those where you can do that as well so get the, the software from get traffic tools.com forward slash RSS please make sure you do it in capitals otherwise it won't work and so um, that's all there is really about RSS feeds I uh, hope that's helpful the piece of software is around about $27 um, it won't break the bank and it will certainly help you a lot to get your RSS feeds out there so trust that's helpful to you all the best and we'll catch you on the next video